Oh, hey, hi, Oscar. Yeah, oh, no. hey. Oh, what do you have? Oh, a cellular phone. Mm. You know, I want to get one of those. Uh, can I try it out? No. Hello, name nerds. My name is Patrick, and welcome to Fun With First Names, where each week we look into the meaning, origin, and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week, we are looking to the first name of Oscar. But before we begin, I need to say a huge thank you to my most recent patrons. I want to say a huge thank you to one, Emily Davis Morris, Mick Castle, and Twicken Hamster. Twicken Hamster? Twicken Hamster? I don't know. I would normally say Twickenham because British, but Twicken Hamster implies that should be said like that. Great name either way. Thank you guys all so, so much for becoming patrons. It means so much to the channel. If you were unaware, Patreon is the single best way to help support Name Explain. You can donate $1 a month and you get ad-free videos, exclusive content, a chance to say what Names Explain, and your name at the end of all of these videos. Seriously, Name Explain is depending on Patreon now more than ever. So if you can and do want to, patreon.com forward slash Name Explain, there'll be a link down below. And if you don't want to commit to a monthly donation, consider leaving a super thanks at the bottom of this video. You can just leave a one-time donation that helps out amazingly too, just if you can and if you want to, that would be amazing, thank you. Though anyway, on with today's name of Oscar. And Oscar is actually one of those names that has two different meanings. And what's interesting is that those two meanings are like completely different from one another. Its more popular origin is with Old Irish and it's believed to possibly come from the Old Irish terms of us and career. And these two Old Irish terms mean dear and friend respectively. So this means that the name Oscar means something like dear friend or dear lover. And this is a really cute meaningful name to have, like who wouldn't want to be friends with a deer? Like that's some sort of Disney princess kind of stuff going on there, like yeah, that's cool, I see why this meaning is super popular. Dear friend, dear lover, lover of animals and woodland creatures, like yeah, like cool. As for this second meaning, well it's not quite as cute. And this second meaning is believed to come from not Old Irish, but instead Old Norse. This theory on the name Oscar is as an adaptation of the Old Norse name of Asgir. Asgir, I, I think I'm pronouncing that right, probably not. And this name translates into roughly meaning God Spear. What exactly a god spear is, I have no idea, but it sounds pretty badass. And this is a massive tangent. Has anyone here read Scott Ugly Pleasant? Like in that series of books, go read them if you haven't, they're amazing. There's these things called the God Killer Weapons, and one of them is a spear, and it's it's giving me strong vibes from that, I have to admit. It's these old Irish and old Norse names as to where we think the name Oscar might come from, and they're both pretty valid to be fair. You could easily see how either of these origins could lead to the modern name of Oscar. But they have such weirdly different meanings. One's all cute nature animal lovers and the other's all mighty god throwing spears. Like, yeah, different meanings for this name, that's for sure. But if you love deers or want to kill one with a divine weapon, then this is probably the name for you. But what I find most interesting about this name myself is that we may have to thank Napoleon Bonaparte for making this name popular. Maybe take that with just a pinch of salt, however, like this is a bit of a stretch, but it's still a fun enough idea to revolve this video around. But how? How exactly do we have Napoleon to thank for this name being so popular? Well, Napoleon chose this name for his godson, and his godson was named, and I've got to read it out here, Joseph Francois Oscar Bernadotte, Bernadotte, don't know how to pronounce that exactly. Napoleon chose this name for his godson because he was a fan of Scottish poet James Macpherson, and James Macpherson often used the name Oscar in his poetry. So you may be thinking, what has this Joseph Ronsard Oscar Bullendot got anything to do with popularising this name? Like, who even is this guy? Well, he actually chose his middle name of Oscar when he became none other than the king of frickin' Sweden and Norway as well, and became King Oscar I. Yeah. He was a king, Napoleon, he had, he had connections. Um, you probably don't need me to tell you that. He was, he was quite a well-known figure. King Oscar I of Sweden and Norway is seen as being like the first noteworthy historical Oscar. And as we've seen so often, even to this day, royal families tend to have a big influence on popular baby naming trends. So from King Oscar, this name spread to the masses and became the popular name that it is even to this day. So we have King Oscar I of Sweden and Norway to thank for the popularity of the name Oscar, but he only got that name due to Napoleon, hence why this is about how Napoleon popularised the name. 
But Napoleon only got that name from James Macpherson, the poet, so maybe we should be thanking that Scottish poet instead for popularising this name. Huh, maybe this video should be called How Scottish Poet James Macpherson Popularised the Name Oscar, but I don't think that'll be as recognisable as Napoleon. Sorry, James, I'm sure you're a very good poet unto yourself, but Napoleon's probably going to get a few more clicks. Oscar is the 222nd most popular boy's name in the USA, so it's pretty darn popular over there. I think it might be on the rise at the moment there, I can't entirely remember. Here in the UK, however, it's the 8th most popular boy's name, so yeah, this name is supremely popular at the moment here in the UK. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes higher, maybe it'll go lower, I don't know, it's like Bruce's cards is right, will it go higher, will it go lower? I have no idea myself, but it's a really nice name, I understand why it is so popular at the moment. Famous Oscars include, of course, Oscar Wilde, the Irish poet and writer, and that I guess holds credence to this name being of Irish origin, considering he was Irish himself, but there's also, of course, Oscar Isaacs, the really popular actor at the moment. Go watch Moon Knight. I mean, it's probably not the best thing he did, but he was really good in Moon Knight. I, I like Moon Knight. Name explain approved. And then of course there's Oscar the Grouch. Quite possibly the most well-known Oscar. He's the one I decided to draw on this thumbnail because he's quite recognizable to say the least. And there's also another thing called Oscar. The Oscars, the Academy Awards. Do you want to know why they're called Oscars? Well, I have a very, very old video, one of the first videos I ever made on that subject matter. It's, if you go way back far on the channel, you'll find it yourself. Here's a little teaser for that video. I might put a link to it up here maybe if I can be bothered. Anyway, that's just about everything you guys need to know about the name Oscar, but what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Oscar? Are you called Oscar yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, I just want to share some of the thoughts that you guys had on last week's name of Gaston. Gaston Diaz said, My name is Gaston, and it is quite a common name here in Argentina. It doesn't sound foreign to us. This is interesting, because obviously we mentioned that Argentine tennis player who we'll talk about in a moment. Um, clearly this name has taken off in Argentina, which is really great to hear. I'd like to know if there's anywhere else, in, if there's anywhere else in the world where this name is popular. Minus Argentina, I suppose. That'd be really cool to hear. Bear Green said, Imagine there being a name that sounds so foreign even to the native language. What a fun concept. I want to hear your guys' ideas for that. Let me know a name in your native language that might raise an eyebrow to or sounding quite strange and foreign in your language. Here in the UK, I think that potentially Irish names might come to mind. I mean, Ireland is part of the UK, Northern Ireland is part of the UK. So we have like this whole selection of names that might make people from like England or Scotland or Wales raise an eyebrow to. That's, I guess, to do with the whole unique structure of the United Kingdom where we do have these other countries that are also part of our country. I guess some sort of Welsh names might confuse people in England or maybe English names might confuse Welsh people or Scottish names might confuse Welsh people. That's the best idea I have here in the UK. Like names like Sersha, which are pretty common these days, but the spelling of it might make some people who aren't as aware of it raise an eyebrow or two. And Nina Puas said, and this is quite a long comment, but I think it's worth reading out in its entirely. They said, tennis fan here, Gaston Gallardier is an Argentine tennis player who won the French Open back in 2004. He retired not long after that because he had severe mental issues that affected his gameplay. Still, how he won the French Open was fascinating. His opponent in the final, another Argentine called Guillermo Coria, was injured during the match. So the final set was between a man with an injury versus a man whose brain was constantly at war with itself. In the end, Gaston Gallardier overcame his nerves and narrowly won the final. Like in many sports, tennis this is not kind to those who struggle with their mental health. However, to see a guy with nerves persevere against not only a tenuous opponent, but a crowd that was clearly against him, it was a miracle he even won that tournament. I thought that was so cool. As we mentioned, uh, Gaston Gallardio in the last video, a famous tennis player of that name, I didn't know anything about him. That's really cool to hear and it sucks he suffered with mental health and that the sport of tennis wasn't kind to him for that. I hope he's getting better health now and I hope you're getting better health if you're struggling with mental health issues. It affects all of us. It can affect high elite tennis players. It can affect schmucks like me, I guess, as well here on YouTube. It can affect anyone. I just hope you're looking after yourself, basically. Go just go, go do what you need to do. I was going to say go drink a glass of water. I mean, 
do that, mental health issues aside, because what is great? Where's this even going? Let, let's end this video. Go suggest some names down in the comments below, and I'll pick three of those to be put into a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on. And then the name that wins that poll will be the name covered in the next Fun With First Names video. So, if you enjoy the channel, want to help support it, and have a say in what names get explained, please do consider becoming a patron. Like I said, guys, patreon.com forward slash name explain there'll be a link down below you can donate just one dollar a month if you've got a spare dollar by the end of the month as i always say maybe donate to charity maybe go support someone else on patreon but if you've still got money going to spare after that maybe consider supporting name explain patreon i hope you enjoy these videos and the channel as a whole enough to want to go do that and if you don't that's fine tell me what i could do differently to make you consider becoming a patron because patron is so gosh darn invital vital to name explain in this current economic climate and your money is important as well so make sure your needs are met as well i have to stress that well enough but if you can and you want to please do and if you don't want to donate a monthly fee consider leaving a one-time support here on the super thanks down below i'm running out of steam and words to say let's actually end this video now that's more than enough for myself but don't forget to go follow me on instagram where i'm name explain yt and of course don't forget to go join the facebook group friends of name explain where you can chat with myself and many other name nerds okay guys take care and comment about me looking like a mime coming in three two one it's a fun outfit i think we're rolling we're rolling we're rolling, my hand's a little bit there, but I just won't raise it up too high. Yeah, let's do this. Hello, name nerds. Why did my hand? Hello, name nerds. Oh, I was looking in the wrong place. But before we get, it's more popular origin. Do I begin everything like that? I'm not gonna do that. And these two old Irish terms mean, what do they mean? As for this, this theory on the name, what am I saying here? Oh, got an itch. Sorted. <laughs> huh, maybe this video should be called How Poet... Mm, yeah. That's just about everything you guys need to know about the name. Osk, I'm gonna say it again. And it's quite... Okay. Here in the UK... Why am I pointing to me? I'm not the UK. 